All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Skyrim Remastered. Thank you for your support across the series. Keep showing that love, and I will keep cranking these out for you guys. Now, with that being said, let's do this. So, before we go in there, look at. I wanted to thank you for getting me this far, but after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. I will. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Lady Serana's back. Open the Jizargo was in the way. It may look like Jizargo was talking with his mouth closed, but we knew who it was. Anyway. Yeah. Um. I will show. I try to get two sides to both stories. This guy. Well, I hear it. Lady Serana's been gone a real long time. He's not even a vampire. He don't look like it. He got a leathery looking face, but he don't look like a vampire. <laughs> hmm. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned! I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. I guess you are. My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she I'm has delighted to see you, my daughter. And of course, this guy looks like a typical really Dracula clone. Allowed? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now, tell me. Who is this stranger you have brought into our home? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. <laughs> Tell me, what is your name? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your reclusive cannibal cult. I don't really care what you are. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Do I get a reward for finding a daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Typical money hog, huh? Well, we'll just go with this. You have done me a great service, and now you must be rewarded. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. Please don't tell me it's vampirism. My blood. Oh my Take God! You will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach, and you will never fear death again. Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! Whoa! That I offer. Now, make your choice. <laughs> I don't think so. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. Of course we get banished. Dang. I hope we don't lose our companion. Just because we didn't see eye to eye with her father. Something tells me this isn't over. Look at this. I 
should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Damn. Well, what do you know? A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? And so you delivered her to them. They what? When you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? So they have everything they wanted, and we're left with nothing. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. Huh. <laughs> well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Red right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Might need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. <laughs> I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to save. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Well, at least you're smart enough to want to learn more. I'll show you what I can. Oh yeah, then we gotta level up some more. All right. Uh... There's only one thing worth remembering. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. And good people will die because of you. I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. That's right. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, you'll do the same. Yo, this guy ain't nothing but the truth. It reminds me of what's his name from ESO, one of those originals. You remember when I beat the game, you meet him. He's uh like that big red guard looking dude with the hammer. He reminds me of him so much, except that guy's bigger. Vampires need to be dealt with, hunted, rooted out, destroyed. Once there was a group dedicated to a similar cause. They called themselves the Dawn Guard. That was a long time ago, but the idea was and is a good one. That's why I'm bringing it back. This latest attack proves it's the right time. Keep your All right, so let's head on out and get these recruits. I haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So, if you'll excuse me. Vampires? Really? 
Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Uh-huh. Well, what are they up to? I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. Oh my god. Of course. At least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. I sure don't. Would you? I don't think I. Fine, fine. I can't afford to forget about this work, though. Some very interesting applications. Now, where is it I'm supposed to be going? Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Good day. You then, hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Empires. That, well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Are oh, you got to be kidding me, man? He must have defeated to defeat a bear of course but yeah I don't think that's the last we're gonna see of that girl I, I just cannot remember at all it's been so long Yourself. This bear is vicious. I don't see no bear, man. Oh, wait a minute. Did I, uh, sometimes you can go past. Thought it's down here. Oh, you spiders! Jesus! Back up! Oh, look at, oh, a cocoon. Saw one floating down here. I think it's dead. How is it? Still alive underwater, oh well. Leave it down there. I know it's a chest, and I may have time for that. I think it's stupid how you can't fight underwater. You should be able to. It's just that your strike should be slower. Cause they sure can fight us underwater. As you saw, that thing spat, and its venom wasn't even slowed down. That's a glitch. That they're probably not gonna patch. Let's be real here. It's Skyrim. All they did was just shut everybody up, telling them to port it to next-gen consoles. 
and give it mod support for console. That's all they did. Okay, we got a bear and a freaking giant spider. Look at that thing's face. Ooh, that thing looks mean. Mean looking spider. Get out of here. There's that infamous ragdoll limp. See ya. And you can slump over too, sir. There, now will you come and help us? By myself. my friends. You've helped me. So I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. So he pretty much just kept it hidden. He should have let them in to help him work back then. I don't get that. So he just he just shut everybody out until it was time to rebuild. I mean, he's been rebuilding, obvious, but I mean, when it was time to recruit, I guess. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and head back and wrap up the quest. All right, Isran, you've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Huh! Okay, you know what? Let's just go Crazy ahead and little place, isn't this? follow him. We're getting along with Isran. It takes some getting used to. Let's just follow Isran. All right, so let's just go and. I'm not sure. I've never heard of the divine speaking directly to someone before. So you think he's just crazy? I didn't say that. I wonder if perhaps he did it for the attention. What the heck is it? Where is it? Suppose we're all a little crazy to be here, right? Here we are. It begins again. I fear for what is to come. Fight bravely, friend. Well, this isn't exactly a palace, is it? Still, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. If Isran needs me, it must be pretty bad. I wonder where they have recruiting missions. I wonder what we're up against here. A basic one, of course. That is, just talk to Gunmar if you need materials. I can certainly try. Okay, we're already maxed out. See you. Something. Follow East Ron, but he's still up top. He might be glitched. Well, anyway, guys, we are going to stop it here. We are out of time for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for another episode of, you already know it, Sky Remastered. Um, if you like this episode, liked this episode, slap a like on the channel. I mean the episode and subscribe to the channel. God, man, I'm fumbling over everything. Thank you for that support. Take care, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.